What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here, and today we're talking about how to clean your sensor, how to do it at home, what to do, what not to do, to keep that camera in good working order. Let's go. mug in Hawaii ages ago. All right, what's going on? How is everyone doing? Today we're talking about how to clean your sensor. Now, this wasn't a video that was on my radar in the last couple of months. It only really kind of came up when I was in Africa because like I mentioned in the last vlog, it's super dusty there. There was a lot of wind, there was a lot of dirt flying yeah, around. I'm pretty good with keeping my gear clean. Now I've got a lot of pro equipment, so it's all weather sealed. So for the most part, living here, I never have to really worry about it. My cameras don't really get too dirty. My lenses don't get too dirty. But when I met up with Max in Kenya, I was looking at his stuff and I was like, dude, your gear is filthy. And I thought to myself, how does this guy not clean his equipment or what? One day outside, got back to my room, looked at my gear and was like, oh, what is happening? Inevitable. Sometimes you're just in environments, you're in situations, you're doing a shoot, whatever. It might be a paid gig, it might not be, it might just be where you're exploring, but you get back and your stuff is a mess. So what do you do? How do you clean it? What do you use to clean it? Do you have to send it away to clean it? Can I do it at home? What should I not be doing? Those are kind of some of the things I thought that might be valuable to teach you guys in uh, today's episode. So I'm gonna go into some of them. Now, full disclosure, I only clean my sensor if I notice that there's some like obvious piece of dirt on it. Like when you're shooting and you've got your camera and you're looking through it and you can see like a dark spot or even when you get back to editing and you see a dark spot on your photos and you're like, what the heck is that? And you got to clone stamp it. That means there's dirt on your sensor and that is when you need to clean it. I don't just get home from like a regular shoot hanging out with, you know, my buddies and be like, hmm, all right, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to go ahead and clean. That's, you're kind of just asking for it. You want to open that sensor up as little as possible. So only clean it if you really need to clean it. Now, second thing I want to mention is only do this if you're confident in your own abilities to do so. Uh, I am not responsible for anybody opening up their sensor and like spitting on it or carving your name in it or like melting a candle over it. Don't do any of those things. If you ruin your sensor, ugh, it's not on me. So. Good luck with it. It's a finicky situation, right? When it comes to cameras, cleaning the sensor and opening up that sensor and exposing it and actually touching the surface with anything is like, <laughs> is like diffusing a bomb. It's one of the most sensitive, vulnerable spots of a camera. So you don't wanna just open it up and go microwave some pizza and watch some Netflix and come back and like, oh, I forgot I left that open. Like this is something you just wanna do quick get it done right, close that up, and not have to do it preferably for as long as possible. Compressed air, lens cleaner, rocket blower, horrible name, and we got a loop and a lens cloth. Now, this is what I do not recommend to use. Compressed air is not very good because it comes out too strong. So if you're trying to clean stuff off of a lens, a lot of the times this can end up pushing dirt further into the camera. It can push it into those crevices of the lens. It can push it into areas, into the buttons. Now, if my camera's super dusty and I get home, I might give it like a quick something like that just to like brush off all the dirt or pollen or whatever's been on it from wherever I've been shooting. But I'm not gonna get like super up close into the eyepiece, into all these things, just because I don't, I don't wanna force anything further into the camera that shouldn't and doesn't need to be in there. Do not turn it upside down and like open up the sensor and sub-zero freeze it because, well then, you know, just, just an idiot. <laughs> just, just don't do that. So this is what I use instead. These are rocket blowers. I keep this in my bag everywhere I go. Every time I open up the body to change the lens, I turn the camera upside down so that anything that I'm blowing in here is gonna fall out. I don't wanna go this way. I wanna just give it a quick couple squeezes like that. The dirt falls out. I put my lens on. Now when I'm done shooting and I take my lens off, I give this a quick little once over. I put the cap back on and I'm good. 
You wanna keep this cap on as much as possible or a lens on as much as possible. You wanna avoid any possible downtime where that camera is just sitting open for extended periods of time. That's just asking for it. It'd be like leaving your car with all the doors open and the keys in the ignition and you just, you park it down in the city and you, you just go out for the day. You wanna give your lens a quick clean when you get home. This Zeiss lens cleaner, this microfiber cloth, super soft. This was like $3, so super cheap. But just to, just to show you an example of like how dirty it was when I was shooting in Africa, this was after one day, I just got home, I wiped the lens down. Look at all the dirt that came off just one UV filter from like a half day's shoot. That's a lot of dirt coming off of a UV filter. So you can imagine the whole lens was covered, the body, the screen, everything. Now I know we're getting into like cleaning a lens here, but I mean, we're here, and we, I may as well just before I show you the sensor stuff, but I don't recommend just spraying down on the top. First, I would just give a couple of sprays to the actual cloth itself. So I would just start with two and then I would wipe the top of the lens. Furthering that, a couple of squeezes of the rocket there get all those extra fluffies off, and then the cap goes straight back on. That lens is clean. That's all you need to do. Don't use this. You don't need to spray the shit out of it. Just spray the rag, get it done, moving on. All right, now it's time for the sensor. So you can have it professionally cleaned. You can send it to your camera manufacturer. They'll do it, obviously, in the clean room, flawlessly. You'll get it back mint. There is the downtime of having your camera gone. You have to ship it to them. Unless you live close, you might be able to drop it off, then you still gotta go pick it up or have it shipped back. So there's a Canadian company called Visible Dust, and they specialize in sensor cleaning and camera cleaning and all that kind of thing. Now they've got a product called the Arctic Butterfly. Now they're not paying me to say this or advertise any of their stuff. I don't actually even use the Arctic Butterfly. I used to have one back when I worked at the camera shop because they're really expensive, they're like $350. At that point, you may as well just send your camera out to have it professionally cleaned. Um, they work pretty well, I just I just never really liked it that much. Uh, there's two different methods. There's using that brush. I prefer the swabs. So they sell these swabs and they're individually packed so that they're perfectly clean and airtight. And then you get this liquid with it, which is called V-Dust Plus, multi-ingredient formula specifically made for DSLR sensors made in Canada, hey. So there's the uh, there's the sensor cleaning stuff right there. That's all I need, you toss this away, you buy a pack of them, you get like 12. Like I said, I'm not cleaning my sensor every month, every two months anyway, so one pack of these swabs will last me quite a while, unless I was shooting somewhere like Africa on a consistent basis. The last thing that I use is what I really, really like from them, and I've had these as long as they've made them, is their loops. So it comes in a little case like this. It's essentially a giant magnifying glass with different LEDs. You got red ones, you got white ones, and then you got nothing. So this sits on top of the camera so that you can look down onto the sensor and see it massive, and you can actually see where the dusts and the dots and all the dirt is, so you know where to swab or if you've missed anything. So the red LEDs are something that they're calling dark adaptation, which means when you're in a dark environment, you're using those LEDs and your pupils have adjusted to that environment, you're able to see more detail and more spots and potential dirt on the sensor using that red LED with their dark adaptation technology. So the problem is there's dust and particles and nonsense floating everywhere in your house. You can't necessarily see it, but you don't want your sensor open and exposed if all of this stuff is floating around. So what do you do? Go into your bathroom and run the shower on as hot as it goes for like five minutes. That's gonna get the room really, really hot, really, really steamy, really, really humid. And that weighs down all the dust, all the dirt, all the particles that would be floating around in the air. Turn off the shower, bring the camera in, do your sensor cleaning. That's the best case scenario of not getting any extra particles or dust floating around, trapping them in your camera by accident. You've essentially created a clean room in your house by weighing all that dirt down with the humidity and the water and the steam that's in the air from the shower. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn the camera on. A lot of these cameras, the sensor is opened through the menu. So I shoot Canon, if you guys do as well, it's under the wrench tab and it's the third tab over called sensor cleaning. You're gonna click on that and you've got three options. Now you'll notice it has auto cleaning, clean now and clean manually. Clean now, you'll probably notice if you click that, it kind of vibrates the sensor a little bit to shake off some of the dirt. You'll probably notice that also happens sometimes when you turn the camera off. 
the end of the day, it does a little sensor cleaning there just to kind of keep everything as neat and tidy as you can. But what you wanna do is go back into that menu, sensor clean, and you're gonna go clean manually. And what that does is it exposes the sensor and then it's go time. So let's go ahead and do that. Clean manually, it says mirror will lock up after manually cleaning sensor, turn the power off, which will automatically close that door. So go over to okay and listen for this. There it is, the sensor is now open. All right, so that is your image sensor. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is throw that loop on there. It's gonna keep any dirt out. We're gonna turn the light on and take a look inside. So there is that loop looking inside. That is red, which will show more dirt and specks. Now I'm gonna put one drop on the front and one drop on the back. Sometimes I do two drops on the front, two drops on the back, but you know, to each his own. So take this off. Don't try not to drop this. <laughs> try not to drop the swab at this point because it's perfectly clean and you don't want to touch the sensor with anything that's not clean. It'd be like washing a car and if you drop the rag on the driveway and then pick the rag up and continue wiping down the car, not the best idea. So we're gonna go one drop here, two drops because I feel like it. Flip it over, one drop and two drops just to get like an even distribution of liquid. So you're gonna put the swab all the way in and just paint across. Pretty much it. Now you can do another pass to make sure there's no streaks on there. Once you're done, you're gonna throw that loop back on. You're gonna take a look at your handiwork, make sure there's no streaking, no more specs. Now once you're done, just like the instructions said, you wanna turn that camera off and that closes the sensor door, flips the mirror back down and you're good to go. All right guys, so that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you got something out of it. If your camera's dirty, if you need to clean the sensor, if you're just looking for some general knowledge on how to take care of your equipment better, I hope this served you well. Again, be careful, be cautious, take your time, don't speed through it, but being able to clean your own sensor and keep your own equipment in its best working condition is something that every photographer, cinematographer, should definitely know how to do. So, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if you so desire. Subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that little bell button and you'll be notified every time I upload a video with vlogs and tutorials and a bunch of random shenanigans that we do here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and, and, I'll see you guys in the next video. Right here.